Sit down, stay a while, pull up a beer, let's have some music on the radio. against the rough edge of a broken whiskey bottle. The stomp and cheer of dancing shoes on beer-sticky floors. 3 a.m. phone calls of raw soul alcoholisms. A long drive down a dirt road into sunrise. An empty glass. Laughter. Hangover. The sweat and stamp of dusty powwow feet, the gentle blue jean slouch slow answers and soft accent. Hey buddy, pull up a beer. Where you from? Where you been? Mind your step, Bobby been rebuilding the engine and the kids got into the camping gear last night. Looking to fix up the second truck cellar and get a Harley. Them some boots you got on, hey? You stand in the fields of your old high school, long since bulldozed for a shopping mall. Rinse your hands in a lake you once knew how to swim in. Dig your heels into dusty hills of granite and rose quartz as shoulders soften and stretch beneath the embrace of mountain horizon. Bring the cats in, nights. Coyotes will get them. Help yourself from the fields. The corn's sweet enough to eat raw. Don't worry about locking up, hey? This is where you found the bones. That subtle limestone smell on summer days, off-white glint amidst dark drying plow earth. There are secrets here, stories. Listen well, think long. She'd been missing a month. Cops done gave up when she called the corner store told them to give her husband a message saying she's all right. The long dirt roads sides of the highway are called runaway lanes, for the semi-trucks run out of control. It happens. You get used to it, these fading posters on small town lampposts in truck stops, every ditch a dead hooker, a lost native girl. Nobody yet explored the back end of the property, all trees and falling cliff. Took the lame horse edge of the old field and shot it. On the backs of your hands are scars, broken glass, car accident, window panes, door frames, these things buried, turned up by plow blades, horse teeth, black green rotting corn cobs, a child's shoe.
Been waiting 20 years so he can wander back to the homestead, don his old oilskin duster, scour the acres with shovel and pickaxe and intuition. You're sure there's a reason your family sense each other's injuries without speaking, smell rain from hours away, dream strange bright scenes that deja vu themselves into waking existence. And you have always been able to find bones. It's just you and me. But I would mind someone night you don't have to go, you don't have to go. Now once in a while I find myself in need, so I drink from a bottle. Perhaps when the day comes, you will stand in the cornfields and sense only the gray-green storm over the mountain hills, the rotting underbrush and cow manure, the harvest of thick, unfiltered bee honey in the log house down the road. Perhaps by then the acreage will have been plowed and paved over, rebuilt into a shopping mall. Perhaps it is already. The white lime is scent of cement, the only thing that masks the odor of bones, of field mice plowed under, of glue horses cold and left for scavengers, of lost pets and neighbors, of secrets and stones, these tales that take decades upon decades to tell. Listen quiet. Think long. Speak slowly. Five miles from the city limits past the auto body shop and cornfields, laughter and cheering echoes as a warm acoustic bass line punctuates the sunset. At the edge of a thin shift of the blue collar grind, one long soul leans back and sighs. It's been a slow, tough day, a treacherous haul of slender horizons and brighter than sunrise eyes. Here we have the last straw, the back breaking like raw stone, a rise from quiet ponderance into laughter, celebration after heartbreak, the splash of whiskey on falling shattered glass. Red wine, got me, got me. Red wine and whiskey It's just you and me 